What's up guys? I am back down at well, Point Judith, which is this lighthouse right here. Huge waves down here today. I was not expecting this at all. Right now, some of these rocks right here over this way. I'm gonna walk down the beach a bit, shoot down there, and then head up back this way, and we'll just see what we get. It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter type of video today, but should be an exciting one for you. I'm gonna be shooting at this rock right over there. Um, try to capture some of these waves cresting over it. As you can tell, there's pretty decent sized waves here today. Um, they're almost coming up to where I'm standing, actually. Pretty crazy. I'm going to get out. I gotta get out my filters right now. This is actually a little bit nerve wracking being up here. This is kind of freaky. Ah, and I stepped in the puddle. I got these new filters and I can never for the life of me get them on unless I stand like a certain way. For whatever reason, they do not want to go on to the camera. Now I probably don't need to be using a super slow shutter speed because the waves are moving so quick. It's not gonna matter. So I'm gonna go with the little stopper, like 0.5 seconds, see how that looks. What am I doing? I'm rolling at F9 with uh, about half a second exposure times. Um, the waves are just tearing in right now, which is pretty incredible. Let's give that a shot. Nice. Oh, that looks really good though. So about two, what about two seconds right now? Yeah, that's looking good. Two seconds is perfect on this rock right down there. You can actually hear the rocks like going back out into the ocean when they when the water recedes. That's insane. Now I'm sort of just curious. I think I'm gonna actually swap out for the big stopper and see if that does anything. So I just swapped out the six stop, uh, little stopper for the big stopper. Uh, I'm gonna see what we can slow the exposure down to now. Uh, we're at eight seconds right now at F9, which is giving us a nice smooth out, kind of almost a ghostly look around the rock right there, which is pretty incredible. I think I'm gonna head down, head on down to the uh, beach area and start taking some shots down there. This is actually the first time I brought like two tripods with me. So I'm shooting with the ADD on the Mi Photo or I think, yeah, the Mi Photo. And um, this camera with the 60, with the 70 to 200 is shooting that rock right there. Not sure if you can see it, but not bad. I'm working right now on trying to find like a good composition for a couple long exposures with the waves kind of cresting over some of the rocks that are out in the ocean. I'm gonna walk out down this way a little bit and see if I can get some shots down here. Then I'll head up back this way and see what we can get. Kind of came down this way. I'm basically looking for an exposure where I can get some of these sand. There's like some cool like wind designs on the sand. That's one of the things I struggle with is finding compositions. I'm super picky about certain compositions, so finding the right one is it's sometimes tricky for me. <laughs> you can see the waves just crashing over the rocks here. There's about 20 people set up on the beach over here all taking pictures. I'm sort of back where I started, um, shooting this rock down here, trying to find the right exposure time and all that jazz. I'm using mirror lockup, which kind of helps so that the shutter doesn't or when the mirror flips up, it doesn't affect the uh, camera. Hopefully that's working to some extent. It needs like a one stop slower than this, a little bit faster than the six stop, like a four or three stop would be like ideal right now. That was better, that was a little better. Sorry if you guys can't really see me, but you know, I'm carrying about 50,000 things right now, so. What I'm gonna run, I'm gonna actually run down and get in front of this rock that I was just shooting over here. Try to get a better composition. Maybe if I'm straight on with it, maybe that'll look a little better, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm shooting this rock right here. Um, I'm sort of getting a little bit better of a shot with, uh, with what I've got going on right now, so. I'm gonna actually switch this to a 
vertical composition here. Let's see if that does any better. I'm still working on a composition here. I think I finally found one I'm happy with. So I'm gonna set this up and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, so we're doing about F9, three seconds, ISO 100 with a little stopper. And that is giving us a decent, a decent look on this rock down here that I just showed you guys. Gotta get the shades on, right? <laughs> Sun's sort of just about to go down, it looks like. Might actually take the little stopper off and end up just shooting without the filter on. I think that might actually work better. I'm gonna throw on the neutral density just to balance out the sky a little bit. Because the sky right now is a little bit more overexposed in the foreground. You gotta kind of time it right because I have the shutter set to mirror lock up and with a two second delay. So I have to time about two seconds before the wave is gonna hit the rock. Yeah, we're doing like two seconds now. I'm gonna take the little stopper off, switch over, just shoot some regular stuff. I'm gonna get some shots of the waves out here and then I think I'm gonna wrap it up probably pretty soon. That's better. That's looking really good. Oh yeah. Let me try to do it like a faster exposure. Nah. Nope. All right, well, probably gonna head back down that way. We'll call them the day. All right, you guys, uh, I'm gonna wrap the video up here, I think. Kinda getting cold, too. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm just gonna pretty much end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you're subscribed, uh, like this video. See you next week, peace. We're out in, I think this is, where is this point, Judith, in Rhode Island, uh, kind of near Narragansett. Um, it's gonna be a shorter type video today, but the waves outside of 